Hey, 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 check this out, right? So, Surf, what did we all say? What did everybody say would be the biggest thing that mattered in this whole situation with these bars and all of that? What would, it was, what would Quilly have to, what does he have to say about this? And then a lot of people that knew him came out and said, yo, he's a top level troll. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you got to really watch yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he might not take this too well, and he didn't. He did not. He, he, he made a post on the gram. The real Quilly, and it goes like this. Tell me what's really going on. Drizzy Dre back in this thing already. What's that? That's oh, soldier. Shit. That's oh, shit. No. Oh, no. oh 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 no.
Nigga, everybody got niggas that fuck with them, niggas that don't fuck with them, niggas that'll watch you that don't fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? They just watch you because you lit or you moving or how you moving or they looking at the number on the bottom right hand side, I mean the bottom left, they looking at the number of views and shit, how your shit clicking. So they just like fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with the nigga, but I'ma still watch this shit, right? So, um, with a nigga like Quilly now, Quilly could literally be like, yo, URL, I'm trying to get on with this battle shit, what's good? The first nigga I want, I want the nigga that took my bars. Like, he could literally be like that. He could literally say that and have a valid point. You know what I'm saying? Philly is clicking right now. Like, if you gonna ever take some shit from a nigga, don't ever take it from a nigga whose city's clicking at the time and don't ever take it from a nigga on a high 97 freestyle. Shouldn't be taking shit from niggas anyway. But that's two million views, bro. And you know what? This is what I heard, I heard, I heard. I don't... I can't verify it, but this is what I heard and it sounds kind of true about how the nigga even found, how the nigga even put that video shit together. I don't know who it was and no shit like that. Niggas is like, yo, niggas that really, really fuck with the battle rap shit that live in Philly. Like, niggas that really rock with Quilly. Quilly don't be really being into the battle shit like that. But niggas that fuck with him be into the battle rap shit. Niggas that know his music and know how to get in touch with him heard that that there. You know what I'm saying? Like, they heard that vibe. And niggas, them niggas probably one of them niggas on the wall at the motherfucking radio station when he spit that shit. When he had all them niggas, you know, niggas go to Philly, they go up to the radio station. Everybody got white tees. It's like eight to ten niggas back there. All somebody had to do that one of them dudes heard that 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 way that shit was put together. And he know they burned it down. Everybody know he burned it down. I didn't see that joint until recently, but still, he still burnt it down. Like when you, I've, I've watched it enough times that if I didn't see it back then, I caught up. Like that's how many times I peeped it and. Niggas already knew. Like they, they're like, yo, he 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 burned it down up there. So that's why, you know, the nigga feel away. And then when he when he burned it down, it's like you comparing me to someone, right? And the person with you're comparing me to that is allegedly took some of my work is telling you that I would never even listen to that nigga. Like he's not even. Why would you? I am insulted that you would think that I would even listen to this nigga. Like, what type of nigga do you think I, you think I listen to this? Like, I'm way up here. I'm doing the album, I got this shit with mine. I got projects, I got, I got a way, I got a buzz. His buzz is right now, it's bigger than Quilly. I ain't even gonna hold you, period. His musical buzz, battle rap buzz, buzz is crazy hot. Legend, all, from an all time perspective, no, nah, he's a legend. Quilly's a legend in Philly. I'm never gonna take that away from him. But right now, to this day, right now, Surf shit is booming right now, inside and out of the ring. So he looking at you like, nigga, you, you accusing me of taking your shit, nigga. Y'all niggas is crazy for even coming at me like this. But on the flip side of the coin, if that shit was Verb or any other bunch of MCs that's not in the favor bracket, a Danny Myers or a fucking, um, even with it with Jack Boy or Ryder or one of them niggas, if they was accused of doing some shit like that, bro, that'd be a 24 hour space. <laughs> These niggas would be on there for a week, son. Them niggas would not get off that motherfucker until they, that person is fried. They would be on for him. And more than likely, sir, if you would be in there with him. You know what I'm saying? If that shit was verb that they was doing that too? Oh, no, what? You would, you would destroy a verb or cow or ch niggas that you even battled already. You, was, you would, what? If a nigga did that shit to his, if a nigga did that shit to you in a battle, if a Fuck if a nigga did it in general. If a nigga tried to sell you that work, if a nigga took that W break and tried to sell you that work, what would you say? That's <laughs> all I gotta say. What would you say if a nigga tried to sell you that work? And then after he tried to sell you that work, nigga said, what? Nigga, you comparing my shit to his? Oh, I'm, I feel disrespected. Even though you robbed this, <laughs> robbed this other plug for the work and you selling the same work to the niggas. <laughs> you telling the niggas. You compare my shit to that? Like, what? I feel insulted that you would even come at me like that. That's why Quilly mad, and that's why he gonna probably carry it the way he gonna carry it, cause he know that people that didn't know about him is gonna go to his page, go to his YouTube, I mean not YouTube, well he got YouTube too, but go to his fucking Instagram. Niggas is gonna follow, cause they wanna see if he gonna follow that shit up with some more spice on the rice. You already know, they're gonna be like, yo, if he did this, what's next? The nigga could carry it for like a hot week. I've seen people get in a situation like this and they carry it, some carry it, right? Others carry it wrong. A nigga get into a little spice, the next thing you know, 
they fuck around and go back up to Hot 97 and do another joint, you know what I'm saying? Get their buzz really established, put out a little song, get somebody that's clicking in the city right now and shit, get one of them little, them little young hot niggas out there, and you know what I'm saying? You get them niggas on the track, you know, they, everything sound like the motherfuckers drill shit now, you know what I'm saying? So you get on one of them little motherfuckers and get that shit going, and then um, you could have, you know, uh, Gilly, uh, you know, you get on the, go on the joint with them, million dollars worth of game, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just mad avenues to get your buzz way back up after something like this happens, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be true, not true, or indifferent, but if you tell me it's just way too close. When they put the video like side by side and them joints playing like that, oh, no, 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 no. So overall, um, yeah, Quilly uh, definitely responded and uh, you've seen what he said. He called me my whole flow, Drake, Drake. Now, Quilly, you know, I, I don't, I, I, we, we haven't met before, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I know you, I've seen your freestyles and things like that. Just carry it the right way. Like, if you're going to do your thing, you're going to get your promo on, even if you want to be on some battle-ish, you know what I'm saying? Do it the right way. You don't want to drag it out and make it look all crazy like you're fiending to get in here. I know you ain't, I know that ain't you, though, you know what I'm saying? I know you got bars, but, uh, you know. <laughs> you got one up on the battle rap game right now, you know what I'm saying? Because now you one of the few few rapper rappers that can say, how y'all going to say we can't do this when you got this going on? That definitely pushes us back by 15 yards. I ain't going to hold you for the battle rap side. We're going to have to start the um, game with a penalty, 15 yards from the spot of the foul because uh, – he could say that, and he go, he could stand on that. Like, when he go up to the radio, man, I'm going to just get out of here. Y'all niggas have a good night. This is crazy.